Hello, it's Crafty Ria. Welcome to another video. I'm so glad you're joining me today for this mystery box unboxing. This is a mystery box that I purchased from eBay a couple of months ago, back in June, and I'm finally opening it. This is from the seller Jensfant19, J-E-N-N-S-F-A-N-T underscore one nine. And um, this came in a medium flat rate box. The cost of the box was $12, but then there was shipping and tax. So the total cost was $30.14 after shipping. So let's see if we think this box was worth $30. The heading said medium flat rate box, embellishments, stickers, die cuts, scrapbook card craft lot. So let's go ahead and see what we have. I cut the box open, but I have not gone inside it yet. So I have it taped here. And as you can see, it is packed full of goodies. So I'm gonna set this over here next to me on the floor and we will get started. The first thing in the box is this Merry Christmas wooden stamp. Doesn't have a maker, but it looks like it's brand new. I'm just grabbing some of the loose small stuff up at the top of the box. Then we have this K and Company washi tape. That's quite pretty. I like that. We have a couple of these Jolie's Boutique Flowers. They are pretty big, pretty thick. This one is like burlap, and this one feels more like a silky material. Another set of Jolie's Flowers. Some more K & Company Washi Tape. That's a pretty design. Some more washi tape here. It looks like an ambulance, maybe a school bus. I'm not sure what they are, buses and trucks. We have some spools of ribbon, which are perfect for my Christmas cards. These are from Studio Calico. I think they're all Studio Calico. And here are the four rolls. Great for Christmas cards. We have a pack of blue clothespins. We have a pack of, I think there's three in here, of these Sticko Monster stickers. I think they're all the same. I've had these before in another big lot that I had ordered. We have some more of these Jolie's flowers. Some K & Company pink glittery clothespins. We have these Jolie's Boutique. Her face is covered up. I've had these before as well. There's three in that pack. This is from Recollections and there are some letter stickers, a full pack. Some Making Memories ribbon words. Baby Boy, another spool of this American Crafts ribbon, a really big Jolie's Boutique flower, some more of these Sticko stickers. I shouldn't say some more. I've had a lot of these same packs before from um, a big mystery pack that I had gotten in the past. These are... Um, by Recollections, no, Jolie's Boutique Halloween stickers, and then those two packs of stickers. We have this cute little spinner, chipboard spinner. It would be great for a card or a scrapbook page. It's a little boy sticker, or a kid sticker, I should say. It looks like a, this is called mini bunting. It looks like it's that, there we go. 
awesome. I could definitely use these 3D foam tape. And they're nice and... I know it's foam tape, but it's not the super thick kind. Now, great. I like the thinner ones for cards. Candy Shop. They're called Pokies by Queen and Company. They're self-adhesive rhinestones. They're black with some um, facets on them. Really pretty. Another pack of these pink, what do I want to say? Clothes pins. Happy Days. This is from My Mind's Eye. Adorable set. It looks like some big brads and some um, die cuts. Some Sticko American Flag stickers. Oh, this looks fun. Jolie's Paper Twine. Love those colors. So cool. Then we have here, Boys Gone Wild, You Bug Me, Bug Lover. Stickers, they feel like cardstock stickers. They're, they're thicker than normal. We have some Jolie's Boutique Graduate stickers. Maybe I should have opened this box in June. We also have the Sticko Graduate caps. This fun Sticko um, heart and peace sign stickers. They're like a, a gel kind of. They're thick. We have some alphabet letters from Creative Memories, capitals and small. Some more stickopotamus letters. This is Pebbles Ephemera. There's what it has on the back. All of this fun summer ephemera. Super cool. I love, love, love those um, flip-flops. I'm going to just move some of this stuff out of the way to make room for more. Here we have remarks. These cool letters. This is Imaginations. Very cool set of letters. They're like puffy plastic letters. Then we have these stickers. More of a plain alphabet, but large. Then we have this Scrap and Fun Amusement Park from Creating Keepsakes. And it's in this um, page protector. So it looks like just a kit. We have, oh, this is cool, double-sided cardstock. That would be great for cards because, you know, I can fold it in half and have one color on the inside. The backs all have that same peach color. We have, this looks like um, roller coaster paper. This looks like water. The roller coaster paper is double-sided. That's what I'm calling it anyway. We have these that look like little buttons. This here, a day at the park. And this would be great for roller coaster. We the other half of this layout for a day at the park. And here's another piece, ticket to ride. And then there's this piece. So it would be for like a day at an amusement park. And then there's these smaller pieces of stickers. Amusement park fun. And these are punch outs like die cuts. Let me put these back in here to try to keep my whole thing here neat. This is really cool. This um, reminds me of Echo Park. It is simple stories, but I think it would go good with all of the Echo Park papers I have. Hoppy Easter. Then we have Doodlebug Design. It's never too late to learn and never too early either. Cool little sentiment. Narratives. These are really cool alphabets. They are um, like a dome almost, 3D, very shimmery, very cool. 
not your plain letters, that's for sure. Then we have uh, me and my big ideas letters. This feels thick. Oh yeah, because it opens. There we go. So there's quite a few of those. Basically, I have a whole stack here of letters. So I have these in gold. I'll kind of go through them pretty quickly. Gold, white, puffy letters, a whole bunch of these. There's all kinds of those. These are repositionable. They look like bamboo or sticks. Some little letters. These look like school letters, like letterman jacket letters. And these are in gold. More of these little ones. They're so cute. Lots of these. Now we have some in silver as well. More of these stickopotamus. And then more of those. They must have had, I have a lot of stickopotamus things with the holes. They must have had a three ring binder, or I guess in this case, a six ring binder. This is Marcella by K. These are like epoxy little squares and some purple letters. There's this empty piece in here. I think I'm gonna put all of these letters in there, see if they'll all fit. All right, then we have this um, pack. I think they're vellum sentiments is what they look like. I'm gonna just pull one out. Yeah, they're sentiments on vellum, which do not be too timid and squeamish about your actions. All life is an experiment. These would be great for inside of cards. There's this whole pack, and I'm not going to go through them now, but I think there's a whole bunch of different ones, which is awesome. Then we have a whole pack here of like journaling cards or cut aparts, all kinds of ones for cards. So that's fun too. More of these Jolie's Boutique flowers. They got a little flattened out in the box. We have quite a bit of those. More of these pebbles. I bet this matches that other set. So here we have the pebbles set and they do coordinate. Some airplane stickers by Sticko. We have a couple loose stickers here. I will set those to the side. We have a Paper House 3D, uh, more graduation goodies. These are 3D and they are super duper thick. Would make a great graduation card. Some more of these letter stickers. Look at how pretty and sparkly those are. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Super sparkly. These are by Recollections. And then there's some yellow ones that are just not sparkly on the back. There are these sticko letters, which are awesome as well. I don't know if you can see, they're like metallic looking and they are thick. They're, I think they're on foam. You can, yeah, they are on foam. So they are really cool. More Jolie's fun, thick flowers. Then we have, oh, this is great. This is Echo Park or Cartabella um, Deep Blue Sea. I have some of their nautical paper packs, so that will be awesome. These Sticko Flowers. Um, these are, we are united hand in hand on earth. Um, as in heaven, gather together, your kingdom come. So some faith-based stickers. Here's a hunting themed sticker by Jolie's. Ooh, 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 project. Oh, these are Project Life. I thought they were Echo Park. We have a loose Christmas tree, but these are Project Life cards with the nautical theme. How did they know? I'm a cruiser, right? How did they know? And another big bag here of just little journaling spots, it looks like. Very cool. A whole assortment of those. Fun t-shirts. Another one of the faith-based stickers, same as the others. This is, what is this? 
Translucent Sticky Notes by Recollections. That's really neat. I've not seen those before. Probably like mini pieces of washi. I guess, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with that. That's cool. Oh, ho, ho, we have Christmas. So I, now I know where this Christmas tree came from, I think. My guess, yep. This is from My Mind's Eye, and it's called Confetti, but they're pretty big pieces for confetti, which, you know, I can use these for Christmas cards. Santa's and these really cool big old snowflakes. I love these little Christmas trees. They're really cool. They're cool. These say holiday cheer. These little round pieces. It's hard to see. Let me just get one of them. There we go. Holiday cheer. And glittery stars. More round pieces. One side has a little bit of glitter and the other side does not. They feel smooth. Another tree and then some of these really big ones. Again, one side has glitter and the other does not. Then we have here one of a kind five magnets. They look like bookmark magnets. Really cute. See the good. I like that. Some more stickers, letter stickers. We have some big sheets of stickers or die cuts. These are die cuts. These are Easter die cuts. Easter parade. These are stickers. They feel like um, cardstock stickers. They feel pretty thick. These are by Moxie. They're pretty. And these are doodlebug designs for spring. Ooh, more ocean. The ocean is calling. These are authentic seafarer, which, you know, I, I do love my cruises, so that's really cool. Some really pretty letters from Heidi Grace. Studio 112 letters, die cut stickers, and they are like a foil. They're so pretty. I've not seen those before. We have some 3D summer stickers. If you're one of my Patreons, you may have gotten these. I think it was last summer. I had a bunch of these that I sent. You may have gotten some of my other ones too that I've had. We have more of these Jolie's flowers. And this is where my runaway stickers went to. Let me put them back on here. These are um, foofabets, not alphabets, I guess. They're foofabets. I don't know what a foofabet is, but an alphabet stickers. This is cool. I bet this matches the other thing. These are pebbles, and they're mini, like little shakers with the little jewels in them. I love those. That's cool. Some more airplane stickers, some farm stickers. We have another set of these um, little cut aparts or journaling blocks. A mixture. They have some gold foiling on them, so that's really cool. These bags make me think they're from creative memories, but I'm not sure. Another lone lost Christmas tree. There's a couple loose ones in the bottom of the box. More Jolie's Boutique flowers. More of these really pretty things. Clothespins. <laughs> we have these Go Bananas um, monkey stickers. We have some more really pretty clothespins in different designs. One of them is very sparkly. We have some fall leaf stickers, another set of these. Now the rest I think is just 12 by 12 stuff, or at least it looks like it might be. And here we have some Echo Park Easter Christmas, not Christmas, Easter stickers. And this one here is Simple Stories, and they look like princess themed. Then there is this big bag of more 12 by 12 things. 
we're getting down to the very end here. Cheerleader stickers. More cheerleader stickers. This must be a cheerleader pack. There's cheerleaders on the back. More cheerleaders. Go team. Looks like there's two pages of each. That's the back of that one. Two pages of that. We have another, um, two more of those. So I have three of these. Sticker accents in cheerleader style. More big paper. This is by Simple Stories. Some of these, this one is Echo Park. So they're not all the same, but these are cheerleader and they would absolutely coordinate. They look like they were from the same pack. Then we have this bag here. It says Little Dancer and this looks like a few pages of dancer stuff. Little Girl. That's a really pretty frame. So here we have two clear headings that say Little Dancer, some hearts, two of those, and then these hearts. And these are from Glitter Cuts, Fancy Pants Glitter Cuts. And they are um, on clear acetate and they are very glittery with no glitter fallout, which is great. And these are both the same, and I think they're cutouts or sticker sheets. Then we're back to some smaller stuff. This is, well, hello. These are um, like journaling cards from my, mind, uh, my mind's eye. Here's all the different ones in there. Here we have some Echo Park frames and tags in Hello Spring, which I believe I have that collection. Here are some sticko letters and some of yellow letters and pink letters. We have some stamps. These are um, Illustrates Faith. And it looks like it would be like for Bible stamping or something because it'll say sermon by things like that. Sing for joy, stuff like that. We have this here summer bucket list rubber stamps or clear acrylic stamps. And oh, and the dies that match summer bucket list. So that's really neat. I love having a stamp and die set. And they're in one of these little packages that I love. We have here from Hampton Art, these girl stamps. Here we have what well, looks like another stamp and die set. Since they're both together in here, I'm going to guess they match by Echo Park. We have this here is birthday. And happy birthday to you die set. So the set of dies do match the stamps. Yep, here we go. We have a picture of them on the back. That's really cool. And you know, I love Echo Park and I have some of their happy birthday papers. So that is right up my alley and they're already ready for me. And one more set of stamps. This is the last thing in the box. Here we have Photo Play, Fun the Rooster. The Rooster, the Apron, the Apple, all the fun kitchen gadgets. And we have the stamps that coordinate with that. And that's what they look like there. So we have the stamps and the dies and they're already on a piece of magnet for me. And already in one of these envelopes that I love. Well, there we go. There is this box. Let me know below if you think it was worth $30 in total. I absolutely do. I think this was an amazing mystery box. This might be my favorite mystery box that I've gotten yet. 
definitely worth $30. But I mean, all of these die sets, there's three of them with the die and the stamps, several stamp sets, a ton of alphabet letters, a ton of stickers, 12 by 12 stuff, washi tape, a million of these types of Jolie's Boutique flowers, tons of them, all kinds of great stuff. Definitely, I would say this, for me anyway, is so worth the $30. I will link her store in case she has more of these coming up. Um, this was like just a one-time, a one-off thing. She probably had a bunch of these and she just wanted to get rid of it. But this is amazing. I am thrilled with this box. Like I said, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite item is and let me know if you think this was a good deal or not. And if you haven't yet hit the thumbs up, please do so and click on the subscribe button down there. They've moved it. It's down there somewhere now. Um, please do click on that so you are notified when I upload a new video and you'll be able to see me actually use some of this stuff. If you are one of my Patreon members, you might want to go check it out. A lot of the times when I get a great deal like this, I share some of the stuff in my Patreon Happy Mail packages. And if you are a Patreon subscriber, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Jonah's telling you, he's over there barking and Crichton's screeching. In case you don't know, Crichton's my African gray parrot and Jonah is my puggle dog who's a maniac. Anyway, until the next video, <laughs> you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.